So there is a zoom unit in the uh, the forefoot for cushioning, um, and there's phylon all the way through the rest of it. Um, I didn't really feel anything special in the heel because obviously uh, the Paul George line isn't really known for having anything in the heel, but there is the one in the forefoot as I mentioned before. Uh, I'd say the court feel is really good. It's very comparable to the Kyrie 4, but I'd say there's even more court feel than the Kyrie 4 just because there is less cushioning. But if I had to give like a grade on it, it'd probably be a solid like 7.5 out of 10. Um, but I actually appreciate a lot of court feel, so if you're like a guard like me and you know you like being able to be close to the guard, uh, close to the floor, these will definitely be issue for you. So there is no like special name for the traction pattern on this shoe, but there is basically an improvement from last year, but also still similar to last year's PG1 model. If you like the traction from last year's, which was pretty good, you will definitely appreciate this one. I would just, if I had to say anything about the traction pattern, it'd be that this traction pattern is way more aggressive than last year's. Wonder, wonder, wonder. So the materials used in the PG2, you have a suede heel cap, which honestly, if unless you're touching it, there's nothing really special about it. Uh, suede is a super common material used in Nike uh, basketball sneakers. For the uh, forefoot, you have like a really hard mesh material combined with the flyknit. It gives you a really comfortable feel, and you have a nylon-like booty to uh, keep your foot in place, which I really like, and is not really used a lot in Nike shoes, but is used in like a couple of them. But I think they need to use it way more because it's really worked with Nike. So for wide footed people like myself, the fit for the shoe is going to be a little snug at first in the forefoot area, but it will need about 2-3 to three hours of break in time and then it will feel pretty good. If you wear an 11 regularly, get an 11. These fit true to size. If you buy a size too big, or just not the right size, the shoe may become uncomfortable in the future. And heads up, if you buy a signature shoe line from like Steph Curry or LeBron and the f your foot just doesn't feel comfortable in it, maybe it's just not to be. So comparing basically the overall the shoe, the traction, the cushioning, the materials used, I'd have to give the shoe like a solid like 9 out of 10. It's not better than the Kyrie in my opinion, but it is a really good performance basketball shoe. And especially for the, the price, it's $100, uh, $110 American, $145 Canadian. Uh, it's $20 less than the Kyrie 4, so you're getting a little bit of a steal because you're basically getting like a light version of the Kyrie 4, and the Kyrie 4 is already a really good shoe. So if you're looking for a really che cheap uh, ball shoe and you want something that's really really good especially from Nike definitely would comp these like they're just they're just super affordable so that's why I would buy them if you guys like this video please leave a like down below subscribe this video took a lot of work and uh, I thank you guys for watching uh, road to 300 uh, yeah let's go so this is the moment a lot of you guys have been waiting for wow I don't know 200 subscribers now 211 thank you guys Again, for 200 subscribers, and I thank you guys. If you guys can get to 300, I will be probably doing another giveaway if I hit 300 whenever I do. But I just want to say thank you guys for getting me to 200. I was trying to get to 200 for a long time, and a lot of you guys don't think that 200 is a lot. But believe me, it is. It's just a small step uh, for many to come, and I'm just super, super, super excited for the future of this channel and for the future of my filmmaking career. So, let's go into the giveaway. A lot of you guys are waiting for this. All right guys, so the time is here. I'm finally going to pick the winner. I already have this website and everything picked out. All right, the web URL is in. There were 20 commenters, 20. Come on, people, come on. Only 20 of you guys entered, that's crazy. Your odds of winning are super huge. All right, here we go. And the random winner is drumroll please random winner is scott kazera uh or call it, i don't know i can't remember I, i've known this guy for like a couple years uh scott congratulations uh honestly i don't know congratulations for winning 50 dollars and i can put it towards the Kyrie fours you're gonna buy uh good shoe also did a review if you want to check that out go check that out <laughs> thank you guys for watching um please get me to 300 subscribers like please Please get me to 300 subscribers. I thank you guys so much for watching. Like my video, please. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys some other time. Peace.